I had a poltergeist. Posted by Darina. When I was in high school, I had all the usual teenage angst. My parents didn't understand me, I was too cool to follow rules, the usual nonsense. However, one thing that wasn't normal was the paranormal activity that seemed to follow me wherever I went. The house we lived in at the time was brand new. It was a model home my parents had purchased in a modern upscale community. We were the first owners, which ruled out the possibility of previous owners contaminating the house. I at the time was also much into the paranormal, and was obsessed with psychokinesis. It was something I never shared with anyone, because I knew that if anyone ever found out about how I sat in my room trying to move things with my mind, they would think I was crazy. It was also about that time I noticed the unusual things that happened around me. I think the first instance I ever had with strange happenings was actually with my entire family. We were sitting in our basement watching the movie together, when suddenly, we heard movement upstairs. It sounded like footsteps, as if someone was walking around in the kitchen. My mom and dad stopped the movie and started listening intently. The footsteps were slow and deliberate. I was scared. My first thought wasn't ghosts, I was concerned someone had broken into the house. My dad immediately went upstairs. He looked around the entire house, followed tentatively by my mom. They didn't find anything. Both of them went to bed. A couple of weeks later, I was alone in the house. It was the middle of the day, and my mom and sister had gone to the grocery store. I was sitting in the basement again on my computer, probably on Nepet's awesome simulator site. I heard the front door open and the alarm beat twice, indicating that an exterior door had been opened. I heard someone walk from the front door, into the kitchen. Almost the same footsteps I had heard on the previous occasion. I walked into the TV room and yelled hi mom up the stairs. There wasn't a response. I called again, thinking she hadn't hurt me, but there was again no response. I ran up the stairs, and ran outside. Undoubtedly they would need help with the groceries. The driveway however, was empty. I ran back inside and found a crowbar and scoured the house. It was empty. I locked myself in the basement with a crowbar until my mom came home. One night I was asleep in bed, when I was jolted away by my clock radio turning on by itself. I slammed my hand several times onto the snooze button, thinking that I had accidentally set an alarm to go off in the middle of the night, without realizing it. In my sleepy haze, I failed to realize that the alarm wasn't even set for radio at all. After a couple of seconds I pressed the F button for the radio and it fell silent. These occurrences even happened when other people were around. One time Ian and a friend were sitting in the kitchen as they cooked us lunch. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, a clear plastic marble falls from the ceiling onto the counter between us, then rolled down to the floor. Both of us stop and look at each other, then immediately look up. The only thing on the ceiling was the recessed lighting. I picked up the marble and we both what the freaked our way out of the kitchen. Neither of us had any idea where the marble had come from. One day, I walked into the kitchen. On one of the walls, we had mounted the charger and answering machine for the cordless phone. As I walked past the phone, I happened to glance at the wall outlet for no particular reason. In that second, I watched the plug being ripped out of the wall and it fell to the floor with a clunk. I stopped and stared at it, not believing what I had just witnessed. There was absolutely no reason for the plug to just fall out of the wall. The last instance I can remember was the scariest for me. I was sitting in my room at my desk. My desk was placed next to my bed, and on the other side of my bed was a large black arm where I had stabbed all my stuffed animals on. I was on my laptop surfing the internet, not conscious of what was going on in the rest of the room. 
when all of a sudden one of my stuck animals hit me in the side of the head. I yelled out hey. Thinking for some reason my mom was throwing things at me to get my attention. She wasn't there. No one beside me was in my room. There was no way to rationalize this. I have a queen-sized bed, and my stuffed animals were located five feet to my left, on top of my armor. If one of them had fallen for whatever reason, it would fall directly onto my bed, not be launched halfway across the room at my head. I called for my mom and she came in my room, I asked her if she had just been in there. She said no. There were probably more occurrences that I can't remember right now. But all of these happened around my teenage years. Once I turned 18, everything seemed to stop. As far as I know, I'm the only person who ever experienced anything like this in my house. I can't explain a lot of the instances, and I'm convinced that I had something attached to me.